Hello everyone, welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. In today's episode, we're working with Topaz Studio 2. I really like this image right here, but I think it's a little bit flat. I want to draw my viewers' attention into the front boat here, so we're going to work with Studio 2 to achieve those results. And I think it's going to be a good tutorial today, and I think you're going to learn a lot. So stick with me, and let's get started. So I'm starting out here in Photoshop. I went ahead and duplicated my background layer. I'm going to come up to Filter and go to Topaz Studio 2. Uh, by the way, uh, Topaz Studio 2 will not work as a smart filter. I don't know if anybody knew that, but it does not work as a smart filter. Um, so you can't use that feature. But here we are in uh, Studio 2. The first thing I want to do is... Um, add a blur filter here and I'm going to use a diffusion filter what I want to do is is just soften up this background just diffuse it and you have two modes here diffusion and Gaussian blur now if you're in Gaussian and you move it up you're just going to blur out your image okay and that that's really good for certain effects and things like that but I'm going to use this really cool feature called diffusion and watch what happens here when I move this up it just diffuses it. And I just like what it's doing to the background, just diffusing the background. Now, I'm going to take it off this boat in the front. Because to me, this boat in the front is the star of the show. So, let's just adjust this to a point we sort of like. And there's a softness here. You can adjust the softness of it. And actual blur itself. So, you can add a little extra blur in there if you want to. And I might just, maybe something right like around there. And now I want to come up to uh, to the layer mask here and put a layer mask on it. And the first thing I want to do is get a graduated filter. And it's going the wrong way, so I got to turn it around. And because I want this ground here, this foreground, to have a little bit of sharpness on it, I'm going to move this up a little bit something like so and I do uh, I do have the edge aware turned on here but maybe somewhere right around in there I think that looks good I'm just gonna go ahead and click apply now I still have to remove it from the boat here so next I'm gonna get a brush and make sure I'm in black and we need to adjust our radius size here to a decent size I'm gonna start out with a smaller radius and I have edge aware on. I'm going to paint around the edges of this. Paint this beam down here as well. Up into here. Come across here. And I do love that edge aware feature. And whoops, I went a little too far there. I can fix that in a second. Yeah, I wish I had a bigger brush, but I'm just going to. To save time, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the whole thing in here. Just like that. And then we can change our transparency to pure white. Make my brush a little bit smaller. And that nah, looks actually pretty good up there, so I don't think I have to mess with that. And I got my beam in. No, I think we're really good. So let's look at the before. There's the before and there's the after. But I like that little bit of diffusion back in there. I think it really makes it, you know, it stylizes the image a little bit more. And next thing I want to do is add some uh, nice detail on this boat in the front. And we're also going to work with its color. Let's come to add filter. And this time we're going to do a precision detail. I really love this filter. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I'm mainly looking at the boat here. I'm going to start out with overall medium detail, and I love it how it splits this down into small, medium, and large details. And you also can work with shadows and highlights as well with that, which is really cool. But let's start out with medium detail. I'm going to start to bump this up and add some medium detail in here. Because I really want to bring out the really nice textures in this boat. Let's look at the large detail. And don't worry about the rest of the image. We're only looking at the boat itself. So maybe somewhere around there. Let's look at the overall small detail. Let's play with that. Let's work with... Let's try the shadows. Let's see what we can do here. And that's just going to target the shadows. Maybe a little bit of that. And let's try the shadow large details. Maybe just a little bit there. Now let's zoom back out. 
and that's looking pretty good. Now what I can do is I just want to mask it onto the boat. So we can come here and to the blur layer here and let's right click this mask and let's say uh, copy the mask and then we'll come up to this layer mask icon right click and let's paste that mask okay now it's doing the opposite of what we want so if we come to these three little dots right here we can come here and this opens up a drop down menu and we can click invert and just like that we fix that okay isn't that cool so why waste the time painting another mask in when we can just do it there now if you click on the canvas here left click with your mouse you can see the before and the after okay and then we can come up to the eyeball and the precision detail and we can take a look at the before and the after and if we feel we've gone too far we can take the um, opacity here and maybe just pull it back just a little bit if we think we need it but for now I like it I'm gonna leave it up the full way and next I think we're gonna work on color a little bit we're going to add another filter. We're working on colors. So let's go to one of my favorites, HSL Color Tuning. Now I could just come here and take the overall um, saturation and bump it up. See, because you have, uh, here's the overall saturation, this, um, this um, icon right here. And then you have all the different colors here. So if I take the overall saturation and just build it up. I can do that but I don't like I don't like it's putting yellow into the whites and things in here so I don't like that I'm gonna double click this and get it back I'm gonna work with individual colors I'm gonna work start out with blue and I'm gonna start to pull up my blue and again I'm not worried about the rest of the image I'm only dealing with the boat right now so I'm gonna give it some more saturation now I can play with the lightness there I can lighten it up or darken it down depending what what mood you're in depending what you're looking for thinking maybe right around there and now let's go to the red tones here okay pull that up a little bit let's play with the lightness here do we want to lighten it or darken it I might darken it just a little bit now we can also play with the color sensitivity how sensitive those colors are going to be see if you look down here see how some blues are popping up into there so Yeah, I'm going to back that sensitivity off just a little bit. Now we can play with the red's hue. That sensitivity, by the way, deals with all the colors. And I'm just going to find the right hue. I'm thinking right around there. How about a little more saturation? Yeah, maybe just a little bit more saturation there. Let's see if there's any orange in here. Yeah, there is a little bit of orange in that hue as well. So I might bring that up a little bit. Let's play with the lightness. Maybe something right around there. That's looking pretty good. Now let's come up and let's uh, right click this layer mask here. Let's copy this mask and come up to this layer mask icon. Right click it and let's paste it. And there we go. Our mask is already done. There's a little spot there that I missed. Even on the other masks, I missed them, but it's not really an issue. But to fix that, you can just come into brush and make sure you're on white paint and just figure out where that area is and just kind of add some more paint like that. Come back up here, click this so we get our controls back up. Now let's, uh, let's left click the canvas so we can see the before and the after. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, right? Because it's bringing our emphasis to this boat. Because like I said, it is the star of the show. Now, if I feel I went a little too strong there, I can come and individually adjust these colors, or I can even take the overall color back with the opacity. And I might do that. I might just pull that back, ease that off just a little bit. Let's look at the before and the after. Yeah, that's looking really good. Always take a little bit of time and study your image. And as I do... Uh, the a layer mask that I borrowed from the Precision Detail, remember I took some of the uh, blur off the, the foreground here, but so that's adding that color to the shadow down here. And I don't think I really like that. So what I'm gonna do is come back to this layer mask here and uh, let's get a brush and I'm gonna get some black paint, which it's already on black. And you can drag this transparency slider and get any color from black to white and gray tones in between. So you've got full adjustment there. I'm gonna leave it on complete black. 
make sure my radius is a little bit bigger and I have my edge wear on I think I'll shut that off for this because all I want to do is paint off that I don't want to make these shadows more blue let's come up in here a little bit let's paint that off yeah I think I think that looks much better and these areas right here it's no big deal but you could paint those off as well. Good enough, as they say. Maybe I'll just come across here real quick. Okay, there we go. Got to be a perfectionist sometimes, right? Not really. That wouldn't have made any difference one way or the other. But, however... Oh, let's go back into the uh, HSL color tuning. I forgot one thing here. You also have uh, an icon for the... What, what's this called the does it tell oh it's gray hues okay gray hues okay so we could take the gray hues and we can uh, add color to them if we want to but i can also adjust their lightness okay so i can darken them down so that's kind of cool right and i might just do that i like what's happening in here so i might take that gray lightness down just a little bit and it's also taking it off on the boat right here so I got to be careful I don't want to take it down too much or I can brighten it up but I don't want to do that and I don't want to go too gray okay so maybe just a little bit right there all right so now that's looking pretty good now the next thing I want to do is uh, come back to add filter we're almost done with this image I really love this picture uh, and again, let's look at the before. There's the before. It's kind of flat. I don't know what to look at, but now I know I want you to look at this boat here. And that's what I'm doing on this edit, trying to get my viewers to look at this boat. And uh, I'm going to do one last thing, and I think I'm going to come to precision contrast, because I do love precision contrast. And I'm just going to play with the different uh, micro, low, medium, and high contrast here. And I'm only worrying about the boat again. In fact, if I want to, I can... Um, Let's right click this mask here. Let's copy this mask. Let's come here, right click, and let's paste the mask. That way we already have a mask there. And now when I make my adjustments, we're only going to see the adjustments on the boat itself. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Let's work with micro first. Yeah, let's just add a little bit of micro contrast. Add a little bit of low contrast, because this is working with contrast now not detail but I like it's making some of the darker areas darker the lighter areas lighter let's play with medium yeah I like this this is a nice finishing touch now let's play with a high we could even go to the left if we wanted to and I might just go slightly to the left on that now let's look out here let's click on the eyeball here here's the before and here's the after you know, just that little extra touch there. And I think that looks nice. Now we can come and click on Precision Contrast again. And again, we can take the opacity if we felt we went too strong and pull it back. And adjust it just to the right amount. Because I always tend, I don't know about you, but I tend to go a little bit overboard on my edits. But I think that's looking really nice. I'm liking it. I love this diffusion in the background. I think it really looks nice. I love the boat. My eyes drawn to the boat. A simple little image, but beautiful. Kind of, kind of a minimalistic type, type image. Now, I started out in Photoshop, as you remember, so I'm going to come here and click Accept, and that'll bring us right back into Photoshop. Let's go ahead and rename this layer. Let's just call it Topaz Studio 2. And now let's click the eyeball so we can see there's the before and there's the after. So we've added some nice diffusion. We brought some detail and color up in this boat. A nice simple picture, but I really love these results. Well, there it is. I wish I was here at this scene right now. It's winter here where I'm filming this today. Uh, 
and I sure long for summer. I don't know about you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. Well, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I really thank you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.